Hi friends, myself Subhutta Mukherjee and you are watching my channel Dr. Subhutta Mukherjee Distance Learning in Commerce. Today I am going to discuss a problem on portfolio management and this is lecture number one. Calculate the expected return and standard deviation of the following two investments A and B exclusively and also if total investment is divided one half in each. The economic predictions are the first column we have the economic climate, recession, stable and expansion and the respective probabilities are 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and 0 0.3 and the return from investment A which is given in percent is 12, 15 and 20 and returns from investment B also in percentage it is 10, 16 and 12. So first of all, we are going to calculate the expected return and standard deviation of the two investment A and B when their investment is made exclusively. So I am writing here calculation of expected return and standard deviation. deviation. So when investments are made exclusively. So in the first column I am writing economic climate. So we have three type of economic climate. One is recession which is given by R. Stable is given by S. And expansion is given by E. So the probability of a return is a given by pi as 0 0.20, 0 0.50 and 0 0.30. A return of A which is given in percent as 12, 15 and 20. So in the next column I am calculating pi multiply this with RA return of A. So you will get 2.40, 7.50 and 6. And in the next column, I am calculating PI into RA square. So this is basically PI. I have into multiply by RA. We have already calculated here. Now just multiply this factor with RA. So 12 into 12, uh, 12 multiplied with 2.40, you will get 28.80. 15 multiplied with 7.5, you will get 112.50. And 20 multiplied 6 is 120. So these are the working for investment A. Now here I am writing the return of investment B which is given as 10% during recession, 16% in stable condition and 12% during expansion. So probability PI multiply this with RB you will get 10 multiplied with 0.2 is 2.0 then 16 multiply with 0.5 is 8 and 12 multiply with 0.3 is 3.60 and in the last column I am writing PI multiply this with RB square. So this is we have already calculated PI multiply with RB we just multiply this factor with RB so it will get 20 then 128 that is 16 multiplied with 8 is 128 and 12 multiplied with 3.60 is 43.20. So this is the basic working that you need to do in order to calculate the expected return of the investment A and the expected return of the investment B. So expected return of investment A is sum total of this factor which is 15.90 and Obviously, this is given in percentage and the expected return of the investment B is 
which is the sum total of uh, PI multiplied with RB, that is return of the investment B. So the expected return of the investment A is 15.90 and that of B is 13.60. So I am writing here expected return is given by summation PI into RA which is equal to 15.90 percent and PI with multiply this with RB is 13.60 percent. Now the next parameter that you need to calculate is what is the standard deviation. So standard deviation is basically the risk that we are going to calculate. So some sort of all of PI multiply this with R a square is 261.30 and uh, the sum total of pi multiplied with rb square is 191.20. So standard deviation, standard deviation I am writing here, standard deviation is denoted by sigma a is equal to sum total of pi multiplied with ra square minus pi sum total of pi into ra whole square so please try to remember this and 261.30 minus 15.90 square so you will get 261.30 minus 252.81 and, and the uh, standard deviation of the return of investment A is 2.91 percent and sigma B you need to calculate PI multiply with RB square minus PI multiply this with RB whole square. So you will get 191.20 minus 13.60 square this is 184.96 and sigma b is 2.50 so the expected return of investment a is 15.90 and the standard deviation is 2.91 and the expected return of investment B is 13.60 and the standard deviation is 2.50. Now these are the uh, return and the standard deviation when the amount is invested in each of these particular investment that is either in A or in B. But in the next part it is given that 50 percent of the amount is invested in uh, a investment A and the 50 percent is invested in B. Then what is the scenario and what is the expected return? So I am writing here for the next part when total investment or total amount is divided one half in each that is 50 percent amount is invested in investment A and then in B. So in the first column I am writing economic climate and this is R that is recession, stable and expensive. Now here you need to calculate the return of the portfolio. So return of portfolio is given by the weight of one investment that is WA multiply with return of A, then WB multiply this with return of B. So 50% is invested. So 0 0.50 multiply with 12 and 0 0.50 multiply this with 10. Now 12 is the return of uh, the investment A during recession and 10% is the return of investment B during recession. So the return of the portfolio 
is 11. Now obviously this is calculated in percentage. Now what is the return of portfolio during the stable condition? So 0.5 multiply this with 15 and 0 0.50 multiply this with 16. So you will get 7.5 plus 8 is 15.50. And the return of portfolio during expansion is 0 0.50 multiply with 20 and 0 0.50 multiply this with 12. So you will get 16. So these are the return of the portfolio when amount is invested half in A and another half in B. And what is the probability? It is 0 0.20, 0 0.3, or 0.5, and 0.3. Right? So I need to, this is the expected return of the return of the portfolio, RP I am writing. It is denoted by RP. So now you just multiply probability PI, multiply with RP, and you will get 2.20. Then 7.75, 15.5 multiplied with 0.5 is 7.75, and 16 multiplied with 0.3 is 4.80. So the expected return when 50% is invested in A and the other part in B, you will get an expected return of 14.75%. And again, I am multiplying this PI RP with RP, that is. PI multiply with RP square, you will get 24.20, that is 11 into 2.20. 11 multiply with 2.20 is 24.20. 15.5 multiply with 7.75 is 120.125. And 16 multiply with 4.80 is 76.80. So you will get a total of 221.125. So they have expected return is 14.75% and the standard deviation is 221.125 minus 14.75 square. So you will get 21.125. So the expected return of the portfolio is 14.75, which is lower than the return of A, but is more than the return of B. And the overall uh, a standard deviation is lower than sigma A as well as sigma B. Hope all the students have recorded the question with solution in your notebook and have understood the problem properly. In spite of this, if you have any query, feel free to communicate with me through email and the WhatsApp number given in the description box. Thank you. Thanks for watching the lecture.